Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Navi controller. So currently I have my USB serial connected up through the Navi controller board on the debug port. Um, I have the 10 pin ribbon cable connected between the flight controller and the Navi board, plus I have this, the 6 pin bus connected between the flight controller and the Navi controller. I also have my compass module, my MK mag, installed. Um, for upgrading that later but currently right now we're just going to talk about the Navi control and how you do the upgrade so what you do is when you come in here um, first of all you see I already have my flight controller upgraded I did that with the other boards not even connected in the system connecting serial directly to the flight controller that's how I upgrade the flight controller now I've installed the other boards connected up the ribbon cables I'm connected through the Navi board on the debug port and we're going to come in here and we're going to first hit the Navi controller and make sure we can connect to it where you see this bad compass value um, that's normal because I have not yet calibrated my compass um, so if you see this uh, that's what it's telling you you need to do your cal your calibrations on your compass um, so then we're going to go in the firmware and upgrade terminal and you're going to double check up here to see what you're connected to. So it said really quick there that I was connected to the Navi controller. This data is normal. Uh, you want to see this data. This means that something is happening. So then we're going to say update software. And we're going to come to my where I have my software stored. So you might have to browse for it. And I have right here the Navi control. And this is the version underscore 18CX. This is the latest version. And these are all hex files. And I'm going to select, I'm going to select the Navi controller and say open. And you'll see here it's going to start flashing the firmware. Takes it a little while. And once it's done with this, you'll see that it's verifying it. It goes through and gives you some check. It checks your I2C and your SPI your ADC and your UART. Make sure you want to see all OKs on this side. tells me I have no card in my SD slot, which is fine because I don't. And so it's not initialized. You'll see the version. This is the new version. You see my MAG3 is installed and it is compatible. Um, you'll see the flight controller and it is compatible. And that's it. Everything's done. Just that easy. So again, you'll see here, still have bad compass value because it's not calibrated.